Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we got Big Purr with 701 rating versus Mythum with 709 rating. So this is going to be another DB match, hopping right in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see Mythum uh, go ahead and win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. They'll go first, 40 versus 44. Opening hands, we got Connector, Museum, Ricardio, Heritage of the Chalice, and Almis. They have Purr Lily, Talons, Fenrir, Valor, and Street. So we got Pearly versus Infernoble. Um, they're gonna go ahead and start off the turn with a special summon Fenrir, then normal summon out Pearl Lily. Pearl Lily effect to go search. Grab my friend Pearly. I think you just Fenrir search right first because if you're gonna get hit with Droll, I mean you do nothing here, but you've also now committed your Pearl Lily. I guess you get this in hand, which should make it a little bit easier to push next turn, but. I guess? I don't know. I, I feel like you'd probably just start with Fenrir's search there. And then if you do get drolled, you just have like Talents look and then you have Valier in hand. Activate my friend Pearly. And then go ahead, pay 500 life points, reveal Sleepy, Sleepy, Sleepy. Get Sleepy to hand. Yup. And then activate Fenrir effect. Go search out Fenrir. Yup. Grab that to hand. And then activate Sleepy. So not using the field spell here. Uh, to be fair, if they did have Imperm, they would have used it on Per Lily. Um, but I guess this plays in the, like, Moonlit Chill if they main deck you, which, like, nobody does. Uh, but summon Pearly, Pearly Effect. You'd actually want to get hit with it. Actually, eh, I mean, Talent Stroll 2 wouldn't be bad, but you do want to hit a quick play spell here. So they're going to grab Pretty Memory, put my friend Talents back on the bottom, activate Field Spell, Per Lily Effect, target Sleepy, upgrade in the Baby Noir. Then activate pretty, no response from the opponent, chain new war effect to attach, and then set trap, gain a thousand, and then they were going to discard talents, summon pearly, pearly effect, and then they either have SP or rank one setup depending on what they're playing. Um, or maybe even ghost trick stuff if, if they're playing that. But now on to the next game, we got Big Purr going first. We got Imperm, Angelica's Angelic Ring, Heritage of the Chalice, Gearfried, and Magius. They have Delicious, Purr, Lily, Yeep, Sleepy, my friend. Okay, two games in a row where neither player is drawn to going second card. So, you know, they're not going to be the most exciting games. Uh, Heritage of the Chalice, go search out Museum, and then Activate Museum, Pay 12, go ahead, search out Durendal. And then normal summon Magius, Durendal effect to destroy and go search for Fire Flint Lady. And then summon out Fire Flint Lady, uh, link those off into a sold, a sold effect, grab out connector for follow up, and then a sold effect to go dump just one, dump Phoenix Blade, bring out the Ricardito, Ricardito effect, summon back out from the graveyard, summon out Magius. And then synchro those off into the Angelica Princess effect. Go search out Museum. And then Phoenix Blade to banish and add. And then... Oh, uh, I mean, we haven't used Museum yet. Magius effect to equip. Angelica effect. Tag out. Summon Captain Roland. Go dump Ogier. Ogier effect equip. Museum effect a special. Ogier could dump there. They choose not to. Uh, then go up in the Emperor Charles. Uh, then Captain Roland effect to equip. Gearfried will now summon out by banishing from the graveyard a Durendal. Okay, activate Phoenix Blade onto Gearfried. Then go up in the Emperor Charles the Great effect to equip Museum over Museum. Pay twelve, search out Almace. Then they have Museum to summon Emperor Charles. Equip Almace. Go up in the Emperor Charles. Emperor Charles one Almace two to add back the Ricardito from the banished. Equip. And then activate Angelica's Ring from the hand. Uh, they sit on this one. There's a two for a reason. Just being sure. Okay, set Imperm, end phase, summon out Angelica, and then no equip or anything like that, just simply pass, they draw talents. So we have two spell and trap negates, a pop, a monster negate, and then an Imperm. Uh, and then they have this as another spell negate. Um, normal out per Lily, activate the effect of it, chain gear free to negate and destroy that. Then activate my friend Pearly on the activation. Captain Roland effect to equip. And then activate the effect to pop. Pop the my friend Pearly. 
activate sleepy and then chain to negate okay uh activate delicious chain to negate which i i mean we could have just let that get stopped with this right because if it's like dark ruler or super poly like realistically we win anyways because they would be on nothing uh and they already normaled for dark ruler but activate talents and then angelica ring will just negate that so, yeah, they just submit defeat. And then, moving on to the next game, uh, we will go ahead and see Pearly go first. Opening hands, we got Decro, Imperm, Heritage of the Chalice, Ash, and Gear Freed. They have Pearlily, Ash, Happy Memory, Shifter, and Pearlily. So, this time, you know, we do see three going second cards in the hand of Infernoble, but doesn't really have a, you know, like, strong engine here or anything yet. Normal summon out per Lily effect chain imperm onto that. Then activate shifter, activate happy memory, chain ash blossom onto that, and then pass, draw dark ruler. Okay, I can I can actually respect the ash on that a decent amount, right? Because if they do have another quick play spell to punish you, then they have to discard their only non engine and then play with strictly engine, everything known, which would you know, be like, okay, they draw Dark Ruler, not a good draw, obviously. Activate Heritage of the Chalice to go search. Um, they said, don't you see the mo? how long you want to think? 30 seconds, lol. That, that, about me, we have 25 minutes. I mean, yeah, you're, if you say thinking, you're allowed to think for as long as you want. You're not allowed to just keep playing just because you felt like it's been too much time. And if you are going to continue playing because you think it's been too much time, I would highly suggest asking the opponent, are you done thinking? Because technically there's no amount, there's no given amount of time that you're allowed to think for. They could just think for, you know, 20 minutes. Obviously, you would call judge then, etc., etc., but... Um, you know, if you continue play, and then let's say their opponent ashes them, they can't be like, oh, you waited to see what I searched. It's like, no, you, you searched when I was thinking. That's, uh, you know, gave you 29 seconds, ain't gonna wait all day. See, it's that's not how it works. More than it, so when I say thank you, stop playing. So any response to Heritage? They said put that back, or do I need to call Judge for you? So activate Heritage of the Chalice. They said okay. That's so crazy. I hate it when people do that. When they say, put the card back. And then they say, okay. It's like, you, wow, why? Why? Like, it makes no sense for me to put the card back just for me to have to go grab it if you're not actually going to hand trap me. So don't tell me to put it back. And then they'll, and then most of the time they say the same stuff. They'll be like, oh, you play too fast. Slow down. And it's like, i I'm telling you that you can respond to this. You're good. I'm just playing fast because I don't want to play slow. Simple as that. And I, I don't know. I don't know. But, okay. Yep. Go ahead and search. Sure. Uh, the opponent's going to let us go ahead and search museum. Museum. Pay 12. Go search out Durendal. And then activate Durendal. Durendal effect. Destroy. Go search. Uh, go ahead. Grab out Red Lair from the deck to the hand. And then special summon out Red Lair. Battle phase, attack over the Pearl Lily, main phase two, set dark ruler, pass, set dark ruler. Uh, I don't like the set dark ruler play. I know you're trying to bluff, but this card would actually be good at breaking the board if the board gets made. They draw delicious memory, and then normal out per Lily, per Lily effect. You know, you didn't chain your set card, so they know it's not imperm. They're going to go search my friend Pearly. And then activate my friend Pearly, and then activate the effect, pay 500, go ahead, reveal three, uh, reveal happy, happy, pretty. So get pretty to hand, oh, that's unfortunate, that is not the one that they wanted. Uh, activate the pretty memory now, and then discard Ash Blossom, both players gain a thousand. Okay, that's actually funny, because they discarded Ash before gaining a thousand. Which, you know, in my eyes would make it look like they're chaining Ash Blossom there since they haven't even started to resolve the Gang of Thousand part of this. Um, but, you know, it's obviously not what they're doing there. Uh, but they're going to go ahead, bring out Pearly from the deck. But, you know, if you are going to get into, like, little arguments like this and this stuff, 
then your opponent very well could become a shark. And, you know, you, you know, you better just start playing your cards right. Simple as that. You know, put your activate your cards in the correct order. Uh, summon Pearly, Pearly Effect. Look at the top three. Misses, put back Shifter, Prosperity, Droll to the bottom. Pearly Effect, Chain Crow. Okay. And then they're going to Overlay and the Slacker. Yeah. I was thinking, technically, we could have normal summon crow and made SP. We could have actually had SP with Dark Ruler in hand, and that's pretty good, because SP is just a warrior that's always coming back, so it's always, like, one step away from a soul, and then you have Dark Ruler. But now they're going to go Slacker, attacking the Red Blair, and then they only take 18, but this is at 25, and then go Downward Zeus, and then activate the Zeus effect to wipe the field. Uh, the My Friend Pearly also goes, yes, draw Durendal, and then activate Durendal, Durendal effect to go search. They're thinking on that. They said, okay, you're good, so go search out Ogier, and then normal Ogier, Ogier effect to go dump, dump Turpin. Okay, Turpin effect to equip from the graveyard. They said question mark. I'm using the effect to equip. And then activate gear free to banish. And then battle phase. Okay. Uh, attack. It's a damage step. The at 3000. Yes, he's at 3000. Damage step fine. Wait, his monster trigger on summon. What? There's, there's no on summon effect of gear free. No. Did you trigger it? You play it as an inherent summon? You sure I am? Oh, like they never declared to summon it? And that's what the opponent's saying? They want to chain Zeus in response to the hand effect? Okay. Um, doesn't say quick effect? No, it's not a quick effect to summon from hand? Huh? It's just an effect. No, when it have... Yep, means it starts a chain. Yep, if you got the, the little winky face on the card, like right here... Ooh, you can see right there, do right there, and then try to special summon out. It does indeed activate. So, hand effect to gear freed, chain Zeus effect to wipe, summon out gear freed, uh, battle phase, attack, activate the effect to equip, and then we also have, uh, we can't redeclare there. Yeah, you cannot redeclare there because if you read it, it's in damage step, so you can't redeclare because we declared the attack on Zeus and we made it the damage step. Um, I guess like a really popular interaction with something like that is uh, going to damage step and then having like the true Draco traps flipped on you, like the true Draco apocalypse, and then you'd be like, oh, attack, and they'd be like, oh, damage, apocalypse, pop my monster. Your stuff's halved, and then you go to redeclare, and they're like, haha, you can't. Damage. Um, so yeah, they can't attack for 35 there. They could equip Ogier if they wanted to, though. But they don't. Pass, they draw Valor. Said, new to the deck, sorry, didn't know he declares in hand. Fine. Okay. Set Valor. Pass. We're gonna say, technically could have set Delicious there. Um... Probably should, just in case the opponent top decks a monster to try to go for game. We can delicious protect our monster, and it would not be game. And then hope that we top deck good next turn. Like, really, really good. I don't even know what we top deck, though. Pass, draw Renaud. And then special Renaud, Renaud effect, add back. And then that's going to add back Ogier, Battle Phase. Renaud attack over the set, uh, you know, risking it for the biscuit, trying to go for a game there. It does work. Uh, so Renaud beating over and then gear free attacking directly. But to be fair, the opponent was supposed to have a lot of extra life points. Um, but they were still going to lose anyways because, I mean, look at this. There's, there's a lot here. Uh, and, like, you know, we can main phase two, like, big combo. And there, our opponent just has nothing to stop that. So... They reveal their cards, and then GG's, GG's, you have the one card. Well, I misplayed hard and set the ruler. Did play in the Zeus very hard. I mean, I thought it was Imperm. Huh? 
Okay, okay, okay. I mean, sure, like you can think it's imperm going into the turn, but once you normal summon per Lily and the effect resolves, I mean, come on, right? I mean, obviously it's not imperm then. I mean, they even proved to you the turn before that if they had imperm for a per Lily, they would stop it, which, you know, 95% of the player base would because per Lily is good to imperm. And if they have imperm, they probably imperm it if they can, which they could have there, but they didn't. So they probably didn't have it. And then it's like, I don't know, what could, what other sets does Infernoble set? And it's like, going second? What does Infernoble even set? Um, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. It's pretty much like just imperm, right? Especially with like how weak their turn one was. You would assume it's imperm, but then after they don't use it on per lily, you know it's not imperm. So then you're pretty much certain that it's a bluff, right? That's pretty much how it is. Like maybe it's like a phoenix blade or something if they're setting it like that. Yeah, like that, that's probably what I assume it is. Like if they don't imperm me, I probably then just assume it's like phoenix blade or just something bad sitting back there just as like a bluff. Uh, hoping that I don't end the game. So, okay, okay, but, let's see, did, did they keep talking about it? Oh, nope, okay, I was gonna say, I wanna see if they were gonna explain their thought process of what the set was, maybe, but we see that the match is about 32 minutes long, and with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off, peace, have a nice day, stay safe.